Welcome back to your 4 to 5. Like the old saying goes, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And that's exactly why WFMY News 2's Brian Bennett sat down with a licensed therapist, Juan Santos, during Mental Health Awareness Month for a chat about ways to keep it all together. I think mental health is important, you know, for our life because it, it has to do with how you feel entirely. I mean, if you wake up and you wake up in a groggy mood, more than likely it may make the rest of the day really difficult. So if you think about, I want a good life, you know, I want to be successful, I want to feel good about myself, we got to do some kind of work. And that work comes in up here, taking time to figure out why do I feel the way that I feel? Why am I anxious? You know, why am I sad? And if I have a difficult moment, like COVID, how am I going to navigate through that? Speaking of COVID, Juan said ever since his company has seen an increase in patients. I would say the caseload has at least doubled. So, you know, if someone's seen, let's say, 20 patients a week, which is roughly average for a clinician, that's going up to like 40. Um, here in the practice and other practices that we know in the community, there's um, changes in hours too, or, you know, we might get off at 5, we're working until 8 p.m., working on weekends. And then some of the key areas of concern, you know, reasons why, let's say, people will reach therapy, relationships, um, anxiety, you know, depression, uh, grief. To help people cope, Juan says there's three things everyone can do each and every day. First thing in the morning, try to find something that you can do. You know, for me, I'm not the best at it. I try to get up and I try to make my bed. If you wake up and you do something and you accomplish something, it makes you feel good. Number two, at the end of the day, write down five, 10 things that you accomplished. And I mean big or small, I'm gonna write down and brush my teeth. I'm gonna write down that, you know, I played with my daughter today and I had my phone down and I was able to give her 100% attention. Once you write those things down, right before going to bed, it'll, it'll cause a smile. It'll make you feel good. It'll make you feel good about yourself and that you're living a purposeful and, and a value-driven life. And then number three, getting on Instagram, doing YouTube channels, you know, resources, videos on how to walk through anxiety, and then follow somebody that you build that trust relationship with and, and kind of see where that takes you. Yeah, guys, and uh, Juan has some great tips. I love the three tips that he gave. You know, one of them I actually did and not even realizing it, you know, it was more so out of fear of my parents, but who knew it had health benefits as well? That's making my bed every morning. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely an important thing for everybody to pay attention to their mental health because if you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of everybody else? <laughs> exactly. Once again, taking us to church. Taking us to church. Speaking like a true parent too right there, Brian. No, I think this is so important. And Brian, you actually said this this morning and it really stuck with me throughout the day. I think throughout this year, we've all been through some kind of trauma, definitely through some kind of stretch, stress, and many of us may not even realize mm -hmm. it. So if we're just checking in with our mental health and saying, you know, where are areas where I don't feel so great versus areas where I feel my best and how can I achieve more of the latter? And when people say it's the little things, it really is. I mean, a lot of that stuff you mentioned was just following someone, you know, on a social media platform that makes you feel good or somebody that you know really well and just like that intimacy, that kind of closeness. And I think it is sometimes just the small things, a little bit sprinkled throughout a day that can make a difference. Yeah, just getting your mindset into a positive vibe. Like I know recently I've been listening to TED Talks when I get mm -hmm. ready for work. Um, they talk about anxiety. They talk about, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, different things like that. And if you start your day on a positive note, it really does help the rest of the tone of your day. We accomplish a lot throughout the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs>